Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Fortmaster, and welcome back to another uh, exciting episode of Solaris with Koth. Howdy. Yeah, so um, the last recording session was kind of a big one. Yeah. So uh, we finally got into our own federation. It is a research federation. Who does uh, the deal? Literally just called um, Galactic Information Compact because I forgot that you could like actually name these things. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but besides that, we have ourselves and our subjects, because Koth got his own subject last uh, recording session. There we go. Yeah, and um, both uh, him and I have assigned uh, envoys to the Federation, so it should start um, increasing in cohesion soon, so that'll be good. Okay, so let's get this thing started then, shall we? Sounds good. What's the mega... Why do I just have a... Mega, what's the mega structure over here? Galactic market established. Nice. I. Okay, I. There's some sort of glitch going on because I just have me, the mega structure symbol over an empty, uh, barren planet. Oh, oh. that seems weird. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, what? Yeah, that. Yeah, that, there's a whole bunch. Actually, there's two in this system. What's going on here? Yes, build another hyper relay over there. Oh, and I would suggest um, when you get the chance, uh, build uh, if when you research them, build hyper relays in your territory. Okay. Um, because they they drastically reduce or they gra drastically increase um, the um, the, uh, the speed at which your ships travel between systems. Oh, okay. Gotcha. They, and it's like, it's vastly noticeable. Okay. Though they are a bit expensive. They both, they need a, a, fair, amount, a fair amount of alloys and um, influence. Oh, I imagine, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm actually getting a lot, because I'm. how much influence are you getting right now? I'm getting like just Ooh, over, I'm getting like 6.3. Uh, three is is mine right now. Well, three point eight, so almost four. So seriously, what am I getting so much from? Because I've n I don't think I've ever actually gotten this much influence production before. So obviously, base is three point five. That's uh, there's obviously something going on there. <laughs> I'm getting one from technology. I'm getting another point five from a counselor trait. I'm getting one from go governing ethic, and I'm getting another one from power projection. Uh huh. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> God, I might actually have to just go and fu go full automated research because this is getting nuts. Oh man, I was just told by the humanoid conglomerate that uh, they want to break the migration treaty because us humans are blabbermouths. And what are they exactly? <laughs> uh, the let me check. Humans, that's right. <laughs> Again, I wanted to know what kind of weird stuff was going on there. <laughs> oh, and they dropped from friendly to disloyal, but I mean they are they your Yeah, they're they're your subject, so uh just just recently actually. The yeah. what is Cid Cidematan Principality was the first subject, but now it's the Conglomerate. Didn't they break out of the of the of the principality? Uh, they broke out of the clans and became the principality. It's weird. <laughs> and for some reason, none of those smaller factions uh, are the aliens from the original clans. They're all humans. <laughs> I mean, that is what humans do. Pretty much. <laughs> Mm, what do I do? I want to actually wait. What is this government type most likely? So they're capitalists, but there's no vassal type that that just has them make money. Unfortunately, so I'll just leave them as as is. Now they're yay atomic countdown. Oh, what's this atomic countdown? You could, uh oh yeah, this was that uh, that clock that I said they should watch. Uh, researchers on McKay's Prime have eagerly anticipated the countdown of the mysterious atomic clock uh, of the Pers uh, Perjodi of 
atomic clock of Prodigious Precision found on Menach B for the past 42 years and three days. Several decades worth of heated uh, speculation and conjecture have evaporated in an instant. The clock has just now reached its momentous deadline, injecting a stream of self-replicating nanites. Whoa. These nanites are streaming on a trajectory towards another planet in the Macone system, a uh, Macone uh, B1A, projected to arrive within the month. Whatever hap uh, whatever may happen once they arrive remains to be seen. Hmm. Why is this other thing? The Omni Codex. Okay. What's happening? Here, oh god, that's so many things. Science, ah! Slow down, science! <laughs> okay, the arrival. The night stream ejected by the atomic clock. Um, uh, and the system belt has made planet fall. Uh, replicating at an incredible rate, the nanites covered the entire planet's surface uh, on uh, in a period of hours, proceeding to terraform it into a Gaia world. Mmm, very ah. nice. Which, I mean, is kind of lost on me, given I'm a machine, but who cares? Right. <laughs> hey, at least you should be able to, like, build more structures there or something, right? Well, or, God, it's... The, so is that the, a resource for productivity? Well, so the thing with Gaia Worlds is they are... They have 100% habitability for every race. So, like, any species can live on a Gaia World, no matter what their base preference is. Hmm. Um, and they also like I think th I think they sometimes have more like uh, resource spots or they don't have any blockers blocking them by default. I don't know. Uh huh. Um, change to a Gaia world with the high mineral uh, with high quality minerals modifier. Woo! Oh, there you go. She'll produce. Oh, of course. It says high quality minerals and it has six mineral slots. Oh no. <laughs> But it does have, uh, I mean, we'll keep that in our back pocket for right now. Nice. I mean, definitely is cool. Okay, more done. Ooh, the Omni Codex. I forget, what does that relic do? Uh, Omni Codex. Uh, gene modification points plus one, which is literally worthless for me. Uh, plus 25 opinion off with non-robotic empires. Spawns pops of an extinct species on one of your planets. Ooh. Now the thing that is, uh, yeah, that could be. But the thing is, I am not a rogue servitor. Hmm. Okay. So that's. I mean, I guess the the twenty five opinion is. I guess it's nice, but like that literally does nothing for me. Actually, wait a second. Let me check something. Can I? I forget. It's been a while. Can we? Can I trade relics? Because I know there's like you can go to war for them. Because this obviously, like, you get much more out of the the, the the just getting free pops and also uh, uh, gene modding as well. Offer trade deal resources information. No, no, it does not seem like I can do that. Unfortunately. Who does the deal? Game. Sorry. Ah, uh, man, I really need to pay closer attention to my colonies. <laughs> D oh, no. What? Did you find something? No, no nothing uh, too crazy. Just some planet deficits and stuff like that. I wonder why I only have, like, 200 minerals. Like, like oh, total? Maybe. Yeah. Just suddenly. Well, okay. That would that definitely seem like a problem. All right. I have been doing a bunch of building on my uh, space stations and stuff, and getting a couple new ships in, but... Mm -hmm. uh, now they want the migration treaty again. Those same guys who said we were blabbermouths. Of course! <laughs> they just can't live without you. That's right. Major orbital... What's it? So, orbital ring... Is it... 
Uh, an orbital ring is a star-based variant that forms a band encircling a planet, providing defensive and additional special specializations. Uh, major orbital uh, must be built. Okay. Yes, I didn't know I could build those. Let's do that then. Maybe we could stuff going. I even. I swear, if you can if you can see my screen, this is exactly why I have like I I usually have the the tiny outliners because of I don't know how I it's, I <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> Habitation Central Complex? What is that? Okay, give me a second. This is stuff I've never heard of or not done yet. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, habitats. Once a uh, Habitat Central Complex has been constructed, orbitals... Oh, so that's what they mean. They literally just mean, uh, like, a space habitat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, orbitals are... Uh, are stations that increase building slots of habit of habit of, of habitat central complexes with uh, orbitals reducing when orbitals are reduced to five uh, five percent hull points they are disabled huh okay well I mean I I don't have to do them right now what I guess I will do is build an orbital ring around my home planet oh that sounds cool yeah I still need another 7k alloys to work on that mega structure. I'm slowly buying more all the time, so I'll get there eventually. How many, I forget, how many planets do you have? Uh, like colonies? Yeah, like, like how many planets do you have populations on? Uh, five. Five. I don't know what this frontier sector is. I don't know if that... Well, so, wait, hey, uh, Brian. Frontier, so, of course you have your core sector. Like, that's, like, it should be named after your, like, home planet Earth. Yeah. So, the sector systems extend up to four jumps away from your home system. Um, after oh. that, uh, that's the max size that a sector can be. And then they'll just, and everything in that, in that range will be part of that sector. Unless you manually remove it. So this one in the frontier sector is literally the fifth jump from Earth. Yes. <laughs> so. so the thing with the frontier sector is basically frontier sector basically just encompasses every planet or habit, habit, habited sit, uh, station that is not in an actual sector. Um, okay. Uh, so like so they'll be like their own section. They don't have they they don't have a place to put a governor if you have one. So they don't get the the special bonuses of a governor, etc. Um, I would wait. I'm um, actually depending on how you are. Uh, the whole, um, but yeah, with the I would wait until maybe you expand and get a couple more like fringe systems in an area to make a new sector. Because then, like, I try to maximize my sectors as much as possible. Okay. Again, power. It's always power. <laughs> Yeah, right now for me it's minerals. Man, it's crazy. I guess I need to turn one of my worlds into a mining world or something. Yeah, generally that's generally you want your like your planets as specialized as possible because then you can maximize their output. Okay. Oh god. Did you ever play like really early Stellaris? Yeah, before there were any DLCs. Yeah, so no, I mean like like version one of the game. Oh, I'm uh, I don't know if I played it that early. Because in the very early uh, version of Stellaris, all the planets were tile-based. Mm. So each tile produced like uh, like some resources, and then whether a pop had grown on that tile determined whether that tile was like producing like the resource. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that I played it then, but I think I watched some videos of it then. Okay, well, let me just, uh, I'll just, just in case, I'll show you a picture. Yeah. Aris, uh, planet tiles. And I, I know in my first, uh, multiplayer, uh, game that I was playing with one of my buddies, he was telling me about that, too. I remember hearing about yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was a different time. <laughs> 
Okay, here we are. I'm just putting it in the chat. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, that was that was a different time. <laughs> I swear I'd like I'm getting to like with tech in like that has a price range in the five digits and I'm and I'm finished researching them in 10 months. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. It's getting annoying. <laughs> Like this one, this uh, advanced combat rolls, its cost with like everything added up uh, is uh, for me 12,992 and I'll complete it in seven months. Man. Power! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm enabling auto research on like society and physics. Yeah, the automation stuff, they're probably definitely gonna be doing a better job than I am. <laughs> 100%. I am. It's like I I suck at this. I really do. I I'm not, I'm not. I have no illusions about it. <laughs> and that spy ran sacrosanct order. They're just not very agreeable with anybody, are they? Doesn't seem to be. Council agenda ready. They're the ones who started the war against my neighbors. Oh oh no. I'm now sorry. every few seconds, I keep getting rivalry notifications of them, <laughs> like <laughs> people around them. Leave me alone! Uh, all right. Like they're not even targeting me; they're just uh. being rivals with people. <laughs> I'm gonna finally try and get these aliens out of my way. We'll see. Mm-hmm. So wait, I've a ruined ring world. Where is this? Oh, this is on the other end of the galaxy. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's it's paused. That's why nothing's happening. Oh. <laughs> if so, if it's paused in it for a long time and I'm not saying anything, you got you, you got to warn me. Oh, okay, sir. Space. I thought you were busy doing something. <laughs> I was waiting for the world to begin moving again. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> System survey complete. Oh, why don't you roll? Why don't all the fleets attack at the same time? Yeah, hey, come on! You're right. The one with the Admiral goes on ahead, and then the other two just kind of sit behind Space and stare at him while he's fighting. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we have to do anything. All right. The heck, game? I'm telling them all to attack. Go. All right. Oh, the free Praku clans have ended their rivalry with the Silicron Junction. Mm hmm. I think it's just aliens, yeah. In these undiscovered sectors. Yeah. But I don't get good readings on how much power they have. They're just mining stations. But... Oh, man. These guys are stronger. Stronger, faster, smarter. That's right. They've got a whole uh, prism over here. Prism? It looks like a space station. They're like Chris, crystal shardling uh, aliens. Oh, those! They're yeah, they're like they're literally like living crystals. It's weird. And that opens up five more planets, though. <laughs> there's there's a one fleet of aliens. There's that a... whole area was cut off, though, so nobody else could get there. <laughs> well, I mean that's. That's a viable expansion opportunity, and I could just even from my view, I'm seeing a lot of like potential uh, worlds. Heck yeah! Fleet engaged. Like I think I saw a Gaia world in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Ho Jam one, continental world. That should be a good one. Alpines. The Yod aliens. We just started talking to the Mem aliens. Mem? Mem. That almost sound that sounds like that old like meme from the internet where you say like have somebody from the from Team Fortress 2 saying medic and you're just <laughs> mirroring it. Mem! <laughs> oh, my uh, orbital ring! It's, uh, it's been a while since I built one of these. What can I do on it? This is an orbital. Yes, the orbital ring. Uh, 
Uh, what can I? Do? Uh. Uh, habit habitability module, max districts. Oh, yeah, that's good. Orbital shipyard, orbital anchorage, uh, planetary guns. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, max districts? Yeah, I can definitely do that. I'd be happy with that. 